What's up, good people? We get ready to start this show. I know a lot of people have been asking, so we're going to bring it back. After these bumpers finish playing. How y'all doing, man? Good to see y'all. It's been a little while. We're going to get back into it once these bumpers are finished. Hope everybody's enjoying this uh, cool day. It's been a little while since we was able to do this. The first month was kind of hectic, so we're going to try to uh, at least do a show maybe twice twice a month. We're not going to be able to do it every every Wednesday like normal. It's just so much stuff to do, and uh, so we're trying to schedule a time where we can do the show. All right, so let's let go ahead and hit this thing up here. All right, good people, you're listening to WOAM 92.9, South Philadelphia Community Radio. It's been a long time, so this is our uh, 623 Radio. Uh, we had to change the name because, you know, we can't use um, Slate name um, to, you know, to do the union show. Um, we're not trying to get jammed up and nobody trying to say we're trying to campaign or anything like that. So um, for purpose of so for, for those purposes, uh, this is 623 Radio. Uh, we're we're going to put it on the, 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 the new local website. We may have to create. A uh, new uh, local um, YouTube channel so we can put the show on there. Still trying to figure it out yet. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff going on. So um, I'm hoping that all the members of 623, I hope you guys have um, enjoyed our first month in office. Um, you know, it was it has been a learning experience. Uh, so uh, we're still learning. The auditor, the IBT auditor is here. Um, she's going to be here for um, the rest of the month. So that's interesting. Learning some things from her, talking to her, you know, just making sure that we continue to do the right thing. Um, the fact that I'm cheap, uh, she she's, she uh, enjoys that. So that way we won't get trusted or, or they put chains on the door. So... You guys ain't got nothing to worry about with your money because the guys, um, the rest of you board will tell you that I, I don't like to spend money. Uh, the, the auditor will tell you that I don't like to spend money. No, but I, I, I know we have to, but just want you guys to know that, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the cheapest guy that you, you know, you know what I mean? So, so again, I hope you guys have enjoyed everything. It's a lot of information that we want to get into real quick. Um, our next e-board, our next general membership meeting is February the 15th at 10 a.m. Um, make sure you come on out. Um, hopefully we get another good turnout like we did last time. That was really, really good. And that was very, very important to see that everybody came out. Show your support for the new e-board and what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, we had uh, I, um, a, build, a couple of building raids. We did one on the day sort, really, really good. And we did one on the twilight, twilight midnight shift. Um, that one was very, very productive. A lot of the supervisors, man, they did not appreciate the fact that we were there not allowing them to do our work. And, and, uh, yeah, 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 Jim. I, 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 I wasn't gonna say that, but that's exactly what it is, brother. <laughs> so, but again, the order of love it. I get picked on about it because I, you know, I just don't like spending nobody. I only like spending my own money, so I know I'm not gonna spend nobody else's money. But that's neither here there. Um, like I said, the order, she's she's um happy so far. Um, everything is good. Like I said. Um, I know a lot of people were worried about that, but again, so far so good. Um, we have every election done for shop stores except for one. 
and that is the feeder department. Those ballots are coming in now, and we're not going to open them up until the 15th when we have both stewards, both candidates for steward that are running in that area. They're going to come down, and then we're going to open it up in front of them, and we're going to count the ballots in front of those two gentlemen, Mike Regal and Victor Alvarez, and then on, a, on at our general membership meeting, all the – well, the shop store meeting, all our – Shops too will be voted. Um, some of the pictures will probably be up on the website today with their number, telling you who your shop steward is um, for your area, um, so you can go on there. We also we added a new um, area for new hires on our website because, like I said, I did a class the other day, and a lot of those members that we have, number one, it's their first job. Um, number two, their first union job, and some of them don't even know what a Teamster is. So we wanted to put out some basic information for the newer members from from new hire all the way up to maybe about three or five years. Even some of the, the, the older members may not know this information. So we got a section on our website just detailing some, some information about newer members, your rights, um, you know, the contract, do's and don'ts. All kind of stuff. And I hope you guys have been checking the new website out. It's www.teamsterslocal623.org. That's www.teamsterslocal623.org. It's, it's very, very informative. We have um, our legal service plan is on there and what it, what it you know, entails, the contract advantage of, you know, of, Everything that's out there for you. Mm -hmm. um, we've, I know you guys have been seeing us a lot at the, at the buildings, and we hope that we have done the job so far that what we told you we was going to do. Um, we sent out two letters yesterday to labor. Number one was when we go into a building, we don't know all the supervisors. Um, but the members do. So some members have pointed out to us supervisors that are working but are not in any type of clothing that lets us know that they're supervisors. So I reached out to Cameron yesterday when I was at Oregon Avenue and I told him. But to cover, you know, cover our tracks, we sent the letter out to labor as well. On Article 20, Section 5, it talks about how supervisors need to be um, identified so we'll know who they are. Because, like I said the other day, you know, we was in there and I didn't know they were supervisors. They had just regular clothes on and they were just, you know, unloading the truck. And so it wasn't until a member told me that they were supervisors. I'm like, hold on a minute. That's, that's, that's not how this works. If you're a supervisor, there needs to be some identification so that we'll know. So shout out to all the members that's letting us know mm -hmm. these details mm -hmm. because these guys, man, they, they hiding and we don't even know it. But like I said, we sent the letter off yesterday letting them know that, hey, supervisors must be identifiable so we'll know who they are, what's going on. Because I walked up on the belt yesterday, supervisor had on a sweater, didn't have any identification on letting us know that he was a supervisor. I didn't know until one of the members mm -hmm. told me. So, uh, took care of that. And another thing we went out yesterday was a letter to the company. They're not using the driver call-in list. They're not using it. Yesterday I was there, and, like, again, the supervisor was working. I didn't know because he was in, you know, regular clothes. But his response was, you know, we didn't have the people. So my thing is, well, were the drivers called in? I talked to the steward. No, no drivers were called in. So we sent that letter out as well. Call in the drivers. Let them come in and do the work. Supervisors are not to do our work. They're not to do our work. So, and they need to exhaust all the lists to make sure that this happens. So that letter went out yesterday um, because, like I said, even though they know it, 
I want this to be a paper trail. So if we had to keep going up and up and up, it's not like they don't know because they have been warned and they've been told they got the letter. Um, so we need you guys to make sure that you be on the lookout for any plain clothes supervisors. Let us know who they are so we can rectify the situation. Like I said, the letter went out yesterday. But again, you know these guys are going to try to do what they want to do. So that's where we need you guys to let us know who's a supervisor, who isn't. Because I went, I was in there the other day and uh, walking around, and I saw a lot of people with the the uh, radios on. To me, when you when I see a radio, not unless you're a uh, responder, I'm thinking you're a supervisor. Couldn't find out they were actually hourlies with the radio because of the job that they do. So, I, I like I said, I didn't know. So, again, let us know these plain clothes supervisors so we can stop that. The letter went out yesterday. They are to call the driver call-in list. That letter went out, the, went out yesterday as well. So we, we're making sure these guys know that we are on top of everything that's going on in our local. Um, also, um, so you guys who don't know, on day sort, on January the 27th, um, it was a Monday, that Monday, um, UPS decided that they were just going to cut out, you know, pretty much the whole shift from getting their daily guarantee. Um, the shop steward immediately got involved. She talked to the sort manager. The sort manager was trying, <laughs> trying to give her the run around and this, that, and the other. Uh, she, <laughs> she calls me. And so I went right down there. I went right down there. And of course, you know, the manager said they're going to pay the people. So labor calls and, and says, you know, uh, moving forward, it won't happen again. And they wanted me to kind of like disregard all the people that were shorted on that Monday. I said, no, absolutely not. Now, we appreciate the fact that you're going to do the right thing moving forward. But those people are going to get paid. They wanted their guarantee. They weren't offered it. Now, some people did want to go. And I know that. But a lot of people wanted to stay and get their guarantee. And they weren't afforded that opportunity. So all those people on day sort who wasn't afforded the opportunity to complete your daily guarantee. Labor has all those names. Um, the company has all those names. And big shout out to Mary Ann Kingston for her job um, and, and jumping right on it. All right, so make sure that you guys um, continue to, to watch out for each other, look out for each other, lean on each other. Cause that's how, that's how we're gonna win this thing. Everybody working together. So that was good. Um, <clears throat> we got a panel next week. I got a couple of cases. Then we got the 22-4 case. I know, I know a lot of you guys were concerned about that. The grievance went in right away. And now we're getting ready to go to panel. Their, their stance is that, you know, um, the, the dovetail list was exhausted and all this other kind of stuff. Our stance is, hey, you got to offer it to the part-timers. All throughout the negotiation process, um, these jobs were supposed to go to 22, I mean, we're supposed to go to part-timers. Um, and that's our stance. You know, you, you, can't, you can't change it up now to benefit the company. The part-timers have been waiting to go full-time for many, many years. Here's the jobs that were specifically for part-timers. That's what they all told us. That's what the negotiations was about. Now they're trying to switch up on that. So we, we're going to make sure that that, we put forth the case to make sure that doesn't happen. Offer to the part-timers like you're supposed to, and we'll go from there. But, you know, it's, it's an ongoing fight, an ongoing battle. Um, but we're up for the challenge. We're up for the test. Um, we just want to make sure you, you guys are protected at the highest level possible. Um, so we've been in the buildings a lot. Uh, we're going to keep continue to do the building raids. Um, we're going to do this show. Uh, like I said, we, we're not going to be able to do it every week just because of the nature of the job. But I did want to take some time out um, and let you guys know that we are going to be more consistent in the show. Not every week, maybe every other week. Try to do it at least twice a month. 
because I know you guys have been uh, asking for it and looking for it. And, you know, that first <laughs> that first month was a doozy, man. Like, as soon as we as, as the first came, it was a lot of things happening. And so we had to play catch up and try to do the job at the same time because a lot of stuff that was left on our plate that we had to do and some new stuff that we had to do, we had to, you know, but we, but what we wanted to do is make sure you guys see us as much as possible. Um, so we also have Greyhound. Greyhound has a contract that's set to expire at the end of next month. We're working on that as we speak. The members have their um, proposal sheets. I'm going to go see them. Matter of fact, I'm going to go see them later today with the shop stewards and talk to them and get an idea of, of what's going on. Um, so real, real, real busy, real busy, staying busy, making sure you guys are protected. Um, hopefully we have done that. You know, I know we can't be everywhere all the time, but we just want to be more visible, um, than, than usual and as much as possible. Um, the feeder department, you guys know, if you don't know, um, we was in there talking about some legs that were taken from our drivers. Um, we had a hearing on that. That took forever. Um, of course, the company knows they have to pay, but nobody want to write the check yet. <laughs> so that that looks like it may go to panel next month. So, um, like I said, they know they have to pay, but they're not ready to write the check. So we, we're going to be fighting that. Um, just a lot of fights. A lot of fights. But like I said, we, we're we're more than capable of doing it. And if you guys see anything that, that, you know, that's alarming or something that's not been addressed, you know, don't be afraid to reach out to us, call us, come up to the hall. We had a few people come up to the hall and sit down and talk with us. And just because it, it's your hall. It's your it's, it's, It don't belong to us. Don't belong to me. The, nothing belongs to us. It belongs to the membership. So come down and, and, and see what's going on down there, you know. Um the the Philadelphia Inquirer article was a big thing for the local. A lot of people have been reaching out um, about joining our local. A lot of workers, but you know it's a lot. It's a lot to work out with that as well. I got to talk to the Joint Council President and see how that works. Um, make sure we're not stepping on anybody. You know, toes. I want to make sure we do everything the right way, um, so we won't get jammed up down the line. So, like I said, there's a lot of stuff going on, man. A lot of positive, a lot of positive, uh, progressive, a lot of good things are happening right now. We would just want to strike while the iron is hot, because every day, every every day is not going to be like this, and we know there's going to be some turbulent times where people are going to be fed up, and we just want to make sure that it's more times like this than of the latter. And so, but I know those 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 days are going to come. I'm, I'm not naive or or just blinded by everything that's going to be like this you know we going to continue to dominate the company we're going to continue to i, I know it's going to be a, a time where things are not always going to weigh where things are going now and i know that and i want you guys to understand that but no matter the good times or the times um uh, you know are not as positive as it is now we, we need to make sure that we always be cohesive and stick together. Um, yeah, yeah, Eric, we just, we're not going to be able to do it all the time, but um, I'm going to try to at least do it maybe twice a month. I got to fit it in because I know this, this was a, a big part of what we did to get here, and I don't want to lose that because I know a lot of members can't come out to the membership meetings. You yourself as a feeder driver, uh, you know, you're on the sleeper, so you you all around. And so if you're able to, you know, see what's going on in the local, I think it'll be beneficial to you. And a lot of the guys that work on the weekends, uh, work on Sundays, work in feeders, sleeper teams, and all those kinds of things. So we want to be able to touch everybody. And so the, the radio show helps us do that. And, you know, people can chime in. They can watch it. You know, they could uh, ask answer questions. That they, they they might not be able to do because they can't come to a union meeting. So yeah. Yeah, we're gonna try to do it at least twice a month. We can't do it every week because it's just of the nature of the jobs that we have now. 
Um, but I, I, I do want to get back to doing this on a more regular basis um, because it was very important that we reach out to the people, like I said, who can't come out to the to the, the union meetings, um, feeder drivers especially, man. You guys are schedules are all over the place. A lot of our uh, Tuesday through Saturday drivers, they can't come to the union meetings because on Saturday. And that's just the nature of the job, man. It beats you up all week. And then, you know, some people have issues, you know, um, during the weekend. And so we just we just want to make sure that we can be able to touch everybody we can. And and the other thing as well, the website, you go to the website, there's a lot of information on there as well, www.teamsterslocal623.org, www.teamsterslocal623.org. A lot of information on there, a lot, lot of good information. That's a resource for our members to use. Uh, you may can't get in contact with your BA, the shop steward. Um, you know, just, 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 just go on there. We, and we're gonna be adding a lot more stuff to it. Um, like I said, there's a new section for newer, newer members to get more acclimated to what it means to be. Uh, yeah, Reggie, we're gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. I got somebody coming in to do a statement today after I leave here. I'm going straight to the hall because she's going to come down and leave a statement. Then I got to go to Greyhound. Then after that, I got to hit the buildings. So, yeah, we're going to be there. I'm, I'm going to be there for maybe about two hours. Then I'm going to be everywhere else. So, yeah, but uh, somebody should be there, though. Ready? Somebody should be there. Yeah, come down, though. Come on down and see, what's in, uh, see what we can do for you. Um, again, man, hey, I'm just glad that, you know, we're moving at the right pace in the right direction i know a lot of members are happy and I, we're hoping that we can keep you happy um i know everybody is not going to be happy and for me um that's something that i always struggle with and uh, but slowly i'm learning that <laughs> you just can't please everybody somebody is always 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 going to be upset um, not going to be uh, compliant, always going to be contrary to what you're trying to do. And that's just what it is. So, right, 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 Eric. You got, you got Mike too, so. So, good. So, um, I'm just, I'm just, like I said, we we're just hitting the ground running. Um, we had a successful panel, first panel. We were able to bring the, the member back, which was very, very good. Um, we got a couple of more cases next week that we're going to do our best to bring those members back. We got some doozy ones in March. I ain't going to lie. I can't talk about it, but it's going to be a doozy. Um, what, what, I, what I plan, I, and I'll just tell you what I, we plan on doing. Uh, because the nature of it, what, I, what we plan on doing is having a mock pre-panel at the hall. We're going to set it up like they do at the panel because our, our, this case is, is, is really difficult in March. And I want to be able to, I want to be able to do and, and do what I can, get hit from all sides to make sure we do this right. Like I said, I'm not, I can't talk about it, but we're going to do our due diligence to make sure we do what we can to do the right thing in March. So, we're working on that. Um, our union meetings are um, every third Saturday, Brother Felix. Every, every third Saturday in the, in the month, like our next one is February the 15th. It starts at 10 a.m. And the location is 4369 Richmond Street. Um, and if, like I said, if you want future dates, uh, anything that's coming up, get ready to happen, go to our website, www.teamsterslocal623.org, and you will get, you know, upcoming union meetings, upcoming important dates. Um, it'll tell you everything that's going on. If you got any legal issues and you want to have some um, legal services that the, the local provides, that you, the member, pay for, that information is on there. If you want to join the credit union, um, Upper Darby, uh, Upper Darby Delco, that's on there. 
uh, how to file a grievance is on there, how to file from FMLA, team care. Um, man, I'm telling you, everything is on there. Uh, your BA is on there for your area. Uh, we're in the process of putting your shop steward for your area on there as well, so you'll know who your shop steward is. you know who your BA is. All those things are on there at a click of a button, so you'll know everything. And we're also going to put what we're working on is putting the information in the union boards as well. Like, you'll know the BA for your center, and you know the shop steward for your center. So when you walk by, especially for the, the guys who, um, who, are, who are just getting in, you can walk by that board and say, oh, okay, here's my BA. Oh, okay, here's my shop steward. Okay, th this is what's going on. All right, and so and we want people to get more involved in, in, in what's happening. So, and again, once the shop steward elections are over, uh, they'll be done. Uh, the feeders will be counted on the on, on the four, the fifteenth at the general membership meeting. Um, we're going to open up in front of the, the, both of the the candidates, and so we will know every shop steward for every area. And every shop steward is going to have we're going to put it in the center, their their picture, so you'll know who it is, and you'll know who the BA is. So it won't be no question who your shop steward is, who your BA is. You're going to know that. Um, you're going to know it in the building. And if you happen not to, you know, go past the built the, 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 the union bulletin boards, go online to the website, bam, you'll have your, your area BA and your area shop steward all right there. So you'll know who to call, uh, who to get in contact with to handle the issues that you have. All right. So all the information will be a, is, is available to you now, but we're adding more and more. Once all the shops through the elections is over, so everybody will know exactly who to contact when they have an issue or you just want a question answered or if you just got a problem, if you just want to talk to somebody, whatever the case may be, you know, call us and uh, we'll do our best to make sure we, you know, accommodate your issue. All right. So, like I said, man, this has been, uh, like I said, it's good, pretty good so far. Not perfect. Still trying to work out the kinks um you know we just want to keep this momentum that we have now uh we we're, we're you know the, the members are happy i can say um there's going to be some intensive training in march for our shop stewards so they can be better equipped and prepared to do what we need to do because i know there's been some just some just some some you know some people feel concerned from the shop steward ranks that you know our level of intensity may cause the company to just go crazy on our members. And, and, and I get that. And that's why throughout this whole process, we told our members, listen, do your job. Come to work, and there's nothing that they can do to you. Zero. You come to work every day, do the job, this company cannot do anything to you. That's number one. But we cannot be held hostage by the people who don't want to come to work, who don't want to do the job right. I, I'm not that type of person. I, I, I'm not. And, I, and it may be harsh, and I, and I understand that, but we are here to protect and preserve the contract and the members that it's supposed to protect. If, if the person don't want to come to work, don't want to do right, then the company's going to come after you. Now, we're going to do our part to protect you. We're going to do our part. To make sure they're doing the right thing when it comes to discipline, but we're not. But we're not going to hold four thousand five hundred members hostage because the other five hundred don't want to do the right thing. That's not what this regime is about. This regime is about doing the right thing by the contract and doing the right thing for the members. Those two things work hand in hand. Membership, contract, got to protect both of them. The moment we don't protect both of them is a moment the company wins, and they've been winning for far too long. That's why it's very, very important that you guys do what you're supposed to do, because we're going to do what we're supposed to do. And I, and I, and I, think, and I, and I think that it's obvious that we're going to do what we are supposed to do. So if the member don't do what they're supposed to do, the comp I'm, I'm, and I'm going to do this too, I've got to tell you this. 
I got to tell you this. The company is going to try to play you guys against us. Because this is what happened. When I went down there on last, uh, for the day sort, when they cut our members out from getting a guarantee, I went down there the next day to make sure that they fixed that problem. So the company, what they did was they started bringing people in the office for discipline. It was it was a hot number. I don't want to say the wrong number on air, but I believe, I, I, like I said, I don't want to say the wrong number on air. But it was a lot of people they started discipline. And the reason why they did that was because we held them accountable for cutting out our members from getting their guarantee. Their response was, okay, well, if you guys are going to do this, then we're going to start disciplining people for their attendance. Okay. And we knew this was going to happen. So, if those people, just, just imagine if those people came to work. Now, things happen. And life happens. And, I, and I'll be the first to tell you, I know life happens. So, but when it becomes excessive and stuff, that's when they're going to get you. When you, when you don't call out, and you no call, no show, that's when they're going to get you. If you if you come to work or at least call, nothing they can say, nothing they can say, nothing they can say. But you have to do your part. You got to do your part. And when you don't do your part, don't let them try to d divide you against us, because that's what they're going to do. I'm telling you, I see it already. They're going to try to get the membership. Be mad at us because of how we are going at them. Listen, you guys elected us to do that, um, and we're going to do that every single day. We're going to do that. We're going to hold them accountable for every single thing they do because they do it to us. They do it to us. They've been doing it to us. So now we're going to make sure we do it to them. That's why I sent the letters out for to make sure that they have union representation every time they bring a member to office. That's why we sent the letter out to make sure they use the call-in list when people don't show up and then they try to have the supervisors work. No, they need to exhaust all the lists before supervisors even thinking about working. That's why we sent the letter out to make sure that the supervisors are, are identifiable so we'll know what's going on when we go in there. These guys need to know that we're not playing games with them and we're not playing games with the membership. You guys elected us for a reason. And we need to make sure we do that. The company needs to know that we are here and this is what we plan on doing. I had a couple of hearings with um, some of our shop stewards um, and I wanted the shop steward to know that I have their back no matter what. And I wanted the company to know that I have the shop mm -hmm. stewards back, <laughs> no, no, no matter what. This is a group effort, a team effort. We're all in this together. We all need to work together to fight this company. We have to do it. If we don't do it, it it's going to be a long time. But we, we're going to do our part, trust me. We're gonna, and we're going to continue to do our part. Some things are going to happen. You know, nobody's perfect. Um, you know, some, you know, it's just human nature, but we, whenever we make a mistake or we do something that is not right, we're going to own up to it. We're not going to go try to hide it, uh, over the case may be, because that's not what this is about. You know, we're about protecting the membership and their families. And I, and I have a dual responsibility to protect the e-board and their families as well as make sure you guys are protected and your family is protected. And so I want to make sure I do that to the best of my ability. Um, I know um, every, every, every decision I make is not going to be agreeable. What's, what's up, Joey? <laughs> what's up, Joe? Yeah, every decision I make is not going to be agreeable. I, and, and I know that. It just comes with, comes with the territory. But trust me when I tell you this, and I want to be one thousand percent honest and upfront with you guys every decision that um i make in this e-board makes is for the benefit of the membership and the membership's family it may not it may not sound right it may not look right sometime but i'm telling you it's for the betterment 
of the membership. Every single decision um, that I've made, the e-board makes, is for the betterment of local 623. It may not look like it, may not seem like it, but I'm telling you, that's what it's about. So, because you guys put us here. You guys put us here. And, and, and we serve you guys. That's just the bottom line. I'm, I'm aware of that saying out, I'm telling you. I'm aware of it out. And I want to give a shout out to Romeo and Norm. They bought me a gavel um, that says that, the same exact thing it says, it's the members who put me here and it's the members who we serve. And I don't want to get that lost in anything. Politics, emotions, slates, company, member, family. I don't want to get that, that thought process convoluted with anything. It's the members who put us here. It's the members who we serve. It's not about entitlements. It's not about, uh, uh, you know, being on the e-board. It's not about the, you know, uh, uh, title or position or boom, 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 boom. It's about you guys. And that's what we keep, keep trying, you know, to, you know, push in everybody's thought process. You know, okay, Hooker made the decision. I, I don't agree with it. Or, or they made this decision. I don't know how this looks. But best believe it's about keeping, keeping this train moving forward, keep progressing, keep doing everything that we need to do. So you guys will be um, real protected. Yeah. So um, I know the the what's getting ready to happen. We're going to have to talk about it soon. As much as I don't, I don't want to talk about it, but we're going to have to talk about it, and that's this upcoming <coughs> IBT election. You guys know that, you know, O'Brien, Zuckerman are running together. And then by now, you guys already know about our joint council president is also joining up with the team. Um, the announcement is going to be February the 15th, the day of our general membership meeting. Um, there's no secret how I feel about it, you know. Politically, I get it. I understand it. I get it politically, but I don't get it like morally, personally, I, I, that part I, I don't get. And it's not for me to understand. I don't make the, those decisions. Um, I don't, but I, I get it. I do. Politically, I get it. The other part, I just don't get. Um, but we're going to have to have a conversation about who we want to support moving forward. I know it's a big hot topic. Um, we're going to have to have that conversation real, real soon. I know a few people um, talked to um, Fred Zuckerman when he was here to swear us in at our, at our first meeting. Um, and, I, and, I think, and I think the consensus is this local is 1,000%, as far as I know, is behind Fred Zuckerman. I don't know about everybody else on the I slate, but I know that this local – Supports Fred 110%. Maybe not all the people, but the majority, I'll, I'll say the majority. The majority supports Fred Zuckerman. I, I know that for a fact. Um, moving forward, you know, I, and I'll tell you my plans and what I plan to do. I'll reach out to Mr. O'Brien and um, get him to come to Philly and talk to our members here. And we'll have a conversation, man, and see what how you feel. I, I know how you feel because I feel the same way. But, you know, again, man, it's, it's one of those things, man, where I just I just hate politics, man. And these guys will tell you, I just I just I just I'm, I'm just not a politician, man. I'm not. I just hate it. Um, I'm a grassroots kind of guy. I believe in, you know, getting your hands dirty and, you know, all that kind of stuff, all the Political stuff, man. That's not my. That's not my thing. I. I like to get down into where the people at and sit down with them and and and, and just have those conversations, man. And and just that's 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 me. I, I I can't speak for nobody else, but that's just me. I like getting down into the dirt, 
the grassroots part of it is what I like. I, I like that. Um, but again, there's a conversation that we have to have. And so when that happens, when that take place, um, we'll be reaching out to you guys, letting you know when that happens because, you know, it's, 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 it's going to have to take place. You know, it's not like we can avoid it because we need everybody to vote. We need everybody to, to, to you know, everybody got to vote. This is the bottom line because in 2023, contract could be up. And that's only about three years. Yeah, a sipping tea for the ladies. Yeah, I, and and Kissy, uh, while you on air, um, you guys know that the the women's conference is in September, and for uh, we're going to send. I don't know if anybody has ever in any previous uh, administration has sent any women to the women's conference, but we're going to do that this this time. Um, We'll, I'll put it to the to the e board and we'll vote um, of who we would like to send. But I want to at least send uh, a member from Greyhound and a part timer from UPS and a full timer from UPS. That's the way. That's the way I want to do it. A full time um, woman, part time woman, and a woman from um, Greyhound. That's the plan. Like I said, we'll we'll talk it over with the e board and we'll vote and then uh, we'll we'll do it that way. But you're right, Kissy. You're right, and you know that's why I'm glad you're part of the uh, ATM committee, and I'll make that announcement too at this next month and next week's general meeting. I'll put all the names out there of all the people who are um, on the committee. And all that kind of stuff. Like that first, I meant to do the first meeting, but it was so much stuff going on, man. And man, it was crazy. So we get ready to go into a break. You're listening to WOM 92.9, South Philadelphia Community Radio. On the other side of the break, we'll continue to talk about um, the uh, first month and anything that you guys have seen that you would like us to, you know, that we need to talk about, uh, just, just, we'll be right back. Yeah, Kissy, we were um, we off the air right now, but yeah, we're we we're, we're trying to what, what I wanted to do, like I said, I want to get a member from Greyhound, um, the shop steward, Miss Carolyn, um, and like a part time, a part time, um, female from UPS and a part and a full timer from UPS, send you guys out to the women's conference, and then you know you guys come back, you know talk to the what you learn and everything like that, you know. So we, we got a plan, and, and that's kind of the reason why we we trying to save some, you know, money so we can do these things, you know. I mean, I know <laughs> yeah, the guys will tell you, man, I'm a cheap guy, man. I don't like spending the money, but I know we have to. Um, so we're just trying to make sure that we spend it correctly and spend it wisely. Um, like we, we just, um, like for an example, I'll tell you guys, we was paying a lot of money to Comcast for what they provided for us. So we doing some research, find out that I reached out to Verizon. They're going to do the same thing, more speed, Internet and all that for like two hundred dollars less. So you're talking about right there. Um, that's the savings for for, you know, the membership. And we, and we got a guy coming um, as well to go over the books with us and see where we can cut costs and, you know, and stuff like that so we can do these things. So our members can go labor notes, women's conference, um, all these different things, man, because um, we got this big plan for the shop stewards for their training. We'll talk about that when I get back on the air.
All right, good people, we're back, we're back. We're listening to WOOM 92.9, South Philadelphia uh, Radio, giving you um, a brand new edition of the 623 Radio Show. We had to do a little bit different because we don't want to get jammed up with using our slate name with what's going on with the union because, you know, everybody's watching and hoping we make a mistake, so we're going to try our best not to make any mistake. Hey, Jesse. Robinson, I'm glad you came on there, man. Listen, this is what I did yesterday. Um, we sent the letter out to the company making sure that they offer, not offer, call in the drivers on the list when they're short workers. Sent that out to them. So we building a paper trail. And I also, I don't know if you noticed yesterday on the belt when you was up there, um, there's a supervisor who I didn't know until somebody told me who had like a regular, regular shirt on. I mean, I, I didn't know that. So we sent out another letter, article 20, section five, that talks about how the supervisors need to be identified as supervisors. Cause they do this a lot at Oregon Avenue. I found out where they had the supervisors in plain, you know, regular working clothes and they're humping and, and doing our work, but we don't know unless somebody tell us. So. So like, again, shout out to all the, the members telling us this stuff is going on. We sent those letters out. These guys need to know that we are watching every single thing they do when it comes to, we're just watching everything because these guys will try their best to get over, especially, I mean, y'all seen the numbers, $6.5 billion in profit. And yet they still trying to short us. They still trying to get over it. They, we made, listen, we made them, we, you. The worker made this company $6.5 billion in profit. That means after all the salaries were paid, the lights, the gas, all that stuff was paid. $6.5 billion. And they're still trying to short us. That's why it's up to us, up to you to work together to make sure that we get what we deserve. Because they, they're not going to give it to us. You, you see that. But I'm so, I, that that stuff gets me hyped up. So let me go back to what we was talking about. Um, shop stores. Once all the shop stores are elected, it was two things I was in my mind. I was thinking about. The first thing is when we did our our um, training for the shop stores, it was, it was going to be a lot different than normal. It was going to be more intense and and a lot more things thrown at them because. The way we want to do this, man, we, we need to be aggressive. Now, I know a lot of people don't like that word, but you guys got to understand. Um, let's, let's look at the company for an example. Um, the reason why they made $6.5 billion mm -hmm. in profit mm -hmm. is because they're aggressive in what they do in business. We need to take that same mindset and be aggressive when it comes to making sure our members benefit from what we provide to this company. And so... That means that our shop stewards are the first line of defense and they will have to be trained up and given the, the tools and the confidence knowing that they can do these things because the company's going to come at them. They're going to try them. But if they are, if they have the tools and, 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 you know, and the confidence and all the, the, the training available, when these things happen, the company's not going to be able to continue to do what they've been doing. And that's what we need to stop. So the first thing I was thinking about, this was back when we first got elected, I was saying, you know what, we are doing on a Saturday. Um, but I know it's, people don't come out on a Saturday. So what we was going to do was we are going to make it a two-day training, take the shop stewards off the job, Friday and Saturday. We're going to budget around it to make sure that we can do it. Um, because the money that we spend on training our, our shop stewards will be an investment into our membership. Because what's going to happen is once those shop stewards are hitting the ground running and, and really holding the company accountable and doing all these things, I'm telling you, the membership will benefit it, will benefit from it a hundredfold. And that's what we want. I mean, the, 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 the goal is to have this running like a, a wheeled oil machine. It's going to be some some hiccups here and there. But we want to make sure that we keep, even when the hiccup happens, 
we're still moving in the same direction, even with the hiccup, you know, even with that, we want to keep moving forward. So we're thinking about taking the, the shop stools off a Thursday and a Friday in the morning, um, get the training to come down um, and have it broken up to specific areas. Like we all going to come together, but then we will have like for the drivers, the drivers have a lot more, a lot more issues than the inside guys have. So, um, you know, we, we, we got to make sure that we attack each classification of what's going on, then come together and, and, and come up with a plan on how we plan on attacking the company together, you know, and, and that's, and that's the goal. So we're going to be doing that man real, real soon in March. Once all these elections are done, we're going to be um, getting them trained up, getting them the tools they need, the confidence. I'm telling the confidence they need because the more and more I talk to people, I kind of like I was talking to a long term shop store yesterday and it was and it was really, really good talking to him. Man. And he was saying, hey, listen, we've been doing this. We've been doing it a certain way for so long that, you know, it's, it's different now, and, and the company is definitely not accustomed to what's happening. And I know the shop stores are not going to be accustomed to what's happening. That's why it's, it's very, very important that we do what we need to do to get you guys trained up. Like I said, on it's going to be in, in March. We're going to take you guys off the job. Two-day training It's going to be very, very intense. These guys, man, they don't play no games. They ain't play no games with us. I mean... They was coming at us. And, you know, and I'm telling you, those same guys are going to come back and help you guys out as well. It's, it's going to be a learning experience for both of us, for all of us. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited because I, I just like, I love learning. I love being able to grow because I don't know everything. And I'm glad, and I don't want to know everything. Because you, if you learn, if you know everything and you think you do, you can't grow. You can't help nobody else because you think you know it all and i don't ever want to know it all i want to be i want to be like a sponge man and just absorb everything then have somebody wrench me out absorb some more things wrench me out and just keep going man because that's how you grow as a union this is going to i'm excited y'all i'm excited and i want you guys to be excited because what we're doing now is, is very very good the members are happy the company is not happy but the members are happy i can see the change and how people have responded. A lot more people have been more involved in in, in union activity. It's, it's awesome, man. I, I, I'm just I'm just happy for everybody. Um, like I said, I, I wish I could take this, put in a bottle, and then when we go to those times when it's not and everybody's not happy, just sprinkle it out on everybody. Cause I know those days are coming. I'm not not gonna say I'm not naive. I'm not you know that that you know i want to say stupid but i'm not that you know young enough not you know or inexperienced to know that things are going to happen it just happened well well kissy we're going we're going to take care of all that we're going to take care of all that man because there's a lot of stuff going on that um it's it's it's, it's crazy but well, we we want to find out a lot a lot more to that what's going on in the centers it's just it's a lot like i said the first month we we kind of got through it now we're going to try to build on each month from month to month we're going to try to build off a a a rainy i'm glad you just got on man um i'll be reaching out to you i talked to andre and uh, and Ryan was in the office with me when we was all talking to Andre about your situation. Um, you're going to get paid. Um, and there's something else they're working on, but I, I have to call you. I don't want to put that on air. Or I'll, I'll call you and let you know what's going on. Or I'll get or I'll get Ryan to reach out to you. All right? So, um, like I said, we only got about 15 minutes left. Um then it's back on the grind. Like I said, we're going to try to do this show every other week. It's not going to be every week. We're going to take the show, 
put it on the website so people can watch it. Make sure you check their website out. It's very, very informative. It's www.teamsterslocal623.org. www.teamsterslocal623.org. Make sure you check it out. We add information to that like every couple of days. We're getting ready to add some more information to it with the concern of the shop stewards. You'll know all your shop stewards. You'll know the area that they're in. You'll have their phone number. You'll know the BA. Listen, we, we are making sure that all this stuff that you guys needed will be available to you at a moment's notice. Um, you know, we, we, we may can't get to you. We may be uh, with another member. We may be in a hearing. We may be like, like next week. We got panel. But the information that you need may be on the site. So you can get it. And it can help you out in your situation. Um, Again, man, I'm just thankful for you guys uh, for all that you have allowed us to do so far. Um, man, we seeing you guys pretty much every single day has is, is, is awesome. It's awesome, man. And, I, and, I, and I'm just thankful for this opportunity that you guys um, have given us. You know, it's, it, it, this does not belong to us. It belongs to you. It's one of the things that I, I, I um, say to myself every day when I'm in front of the mirror. Um, I don't want to get all biblical and all that, but, you know, it just, uh, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> there's this um, word, word called render, and it's the word is it, it means that you, you, what can you give someone that has done so much for you and you'll never be able to, to pay them back? And that's what I feel about what we're doing for you guys. What we have is a rendered service for you guys. No matter what we do, we'll never be able to pay you guys back for what you have done for us. Your vote means everything to us. And so we have to make sure that we keep that mindset of we owe you and not the other way around. You guys don't owe us anything. You don't owe us anything. We owe you every single day we get up. We owe you. Every time we go into the building, we owe you. Every time we, we in the hearing, we owe you. Every time we um, go to panel, we owe you guys. So, and that's the mindset that I have, and I'm pretty sure the rest of the board have, that we owe you every single day, every single moment. We owe you guys the best, because you deserve the best. You pay for the best, and we owe you that. And so, you know, I just want you guys to, to, to just know how thankful that we are that you allowed us this opportunity. And, and we hope that we can continue to do what we're doing. Like I said, it's a, it's a rendered service that we owe you guys every single day. Um, I don't take this lightly uh, because this doesn't belong to us. This, this position, this title doesn't belong to Richard Hooker Jr. It belongs to... Uh, Um, you know, I, uh, it belongs to you. You guys are the reason why we're here. You know, it's not us, you know, it's, it's not nothing that we've done that was so special or, or it could have been anybody being here, but you allowed us to be here. And so we want to make sure that we do everything correct. Like I said, it's a rendered service It's a service that we owe you guys every single day. Um, and that's the mm -hmm. attitude that mm -hmm. we're going to have to make sure that we do the right thing every single day. Will mistakes be made? Yes. Um, are we perfect? Absolutely not. Um, will we always try? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so that's just the way we are with that. But I, I, again, I'm, I'm thankful. I'm happy. I'm grateful for this opportunity. Um, so far, so good, I must say. Thankful to my team. They're doing a great job. Um, um, and we're just going to keep pushing. You know, we got some things. Uh, lined up for the rest of the day that we got to get, that I got to do. Um, after this show, I got a person coming down to the hall to help, you know, help them out with a the situation. Then got to run down and help the Greyhound members out because their contract is getting ready to expire at the end of next month. They already have their, their proposals, and uh, we're going to go talk to them, sit down with them, and, and find out what can we do to help them out. Um, 
It's fun. So far, so good. I mean, you know. Um, the one thing that I, I, I do, I know we have to do, is try to get better with uh, time management. <laughs> well, that's what I know I got to do. Man, it's time management. It's not enough hours in the day, y'all. Not enough hours in the day. But uh, we'll figure that out. This is just our first, uh, this is our second month. So we're going to figure it out. You know, the more we get better at it, the better the time. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Because somebody, somebody told us the other day, they said, man, you know, uh, we see you guys a lot, but don't wear yourself out because, you know, if you if you wear yourself out in the first month, then you're not going to make it through at the end of the term. So we, so we got to make sure that we have a balance. But right, but right now we really want to get a lot of stuff done and catch up on a lot of things um, so we can kind of have a more balance to what we're trying to do, you know, but it'll come. It'll come. But right now, as long as you guys are happy, you guys see us all the time. Um, we're going to try to do this show every once, like I said, every um, maybe twice a month. We'll do it every other week. We'll try to do it. Keep you guys acclimated what's going on because I know a lot of people can't come to the to the union meetings because when it is and, and, and the day that it's on. So this is a good way for you guys to get the information. The website is good. Way to get the information, like I said, www.teamsterslocal623.org. Uh, www.teamsterslocal623.org. A lot of information on there, man. I mean, uh, we put a lot of and it's going to keep growing. It's going to keep adding. Um, the local is growing, um, which is good. They're still hiring. And like I said, because of this article that was put out about the local a um, few, few weeks ago, a lot of people have, you know, reached out to about joining the local, but we got to make sure that that's done correctly. Some people just may be talking, but we'll find out. We'll find out, and then I have to talk to the powers that be and find out how does that work because you don't want to step on nobody's toes and then get yourself in a lot of trouble. So we got to make sure that we do that right as well. Um, the bids are up. The new vacancy jobs are up. We encourage everybody to sign part-time or full-time. Um, there has been some um, mistakes on those bids. Um, thanks for everybody that's been calling to make sure that this, you know, the bids are done correctly. Um, like we had one bid, they messed up the time, then they messed it up again. So we got to get with labor to make sure they get that bid right. It should be about 14 bids up right now. We, Like I said, we sign them all. Part-time, sign them. Full-time, sign them. Um, because what happens is if a full-time doesn't want the job, then it goes to the part-time. So, so why we tell everybody to sign those bids, um, sign them. There's a lot of jobs up there. I know people want their fueling, fueling job. Now, that job was not posted at Oregon Avenue, I was told. So I reached out to labor to make sure that job is posted out there because it's posted at PHL but not at the Oregon Avenue building. So um, we're going to reach out to them to make sure that job gets posted at the uh, Oregon Avenue building. Um, other than that, you know, uh, I believe I covered everything so far today. The bids are up. A um, couple of glitches in there. They didn't do it right the first time, so they had to re-bid them. Then they messed it up again, so I got to reach back out to Sue to make sure she puts the right day, the right shift up there because it's the right time. Just the shifts are not right. So we got to get that right. Um, other than that, don't forget our, our general membership meeting is on February 15th at 10 a.m. That's next, not this Saturday coming, but the following Saturday. Uh, make sure you come. Uh, bring bring your bring your Valentine because it's Valentine's Day there Friday. Bring, bring your Valentine that day. Yeah, bring everybody, man. So... <laughs> um, some other things we're working on, like I said, the shop steward training is going to be very, very intense. That's going to be in March. Um, we got the, the women's conference that, in September. Um, the goal is to have um, a member from, from every classification, part-time, full-time, and, um, and a member from Greyhound. Um, we're going to do that. We're going to you know, present it to the e-board and have them vote on it. And then I'm pretty sure there won't be no issue um, to send – send um, some of our uh, female members out to the women's conference. Um, other things that we're working on, you guys have been in the loop. We're going to announce the, the ATM 
um, members. I meant to do it on that first meet, man, but it was just so much stuff going on. And I forgot to do it, so I apologize for that. Um, so we're going to do that. Uh, and then we'll announce when the first meeting for the ATM committee will be. Uh, we'll do all that at this February 15th meeting. Um, so I'm going to get ready to get out of here, get ready to start my grind. I had, a, I, I just want to come out here and touch bases, get you guys kind of an overview of the first month of office, let you guys know what's getting ready to happen, um, let you know what we've been doing as far as uh, internal-wise, um, and how that would affect you guys internally and externally. Um, we sent the letters out to labor, letting them know our stance on a few things. Calling lists for the drivers, no supervisors working. Uh, make sure that we can identify the supervisors. Article 20, Section 5, they've been trying to get away with that. Um, solved some issues with that yesterday. Um, but shout out to the members for speaking up and coming forward with that letting us know who these supervisors is that's working and who don't have any identification letting us know that they are supervisors so i really want to give you guys shout out for that and that's how we win that's how we win you let us know what's happening we're going to take care of it all right so you don't have to worry about that but uh whatever you see you guys don't be afraid to reach out that's what we need we need you guys to participate the more you participate with us the more things happen. The more we participate with you, the more things happen. And guess what happens? The company don't win. We do. So we thank you for that, all right? So we're going to get right out of here. We appreciate you guys. Um, I won't be doing the show next week because we got a panel next week, but the following week we'll be back, um, tell you about some things going on in February that you guys should, should be on the lookout for, let you know when the next date for the the uh, meeting is in March. Talk about when the shots to the shots to a training is going to be. Um, any, any and everything that's going on in the local, like we did before. We just want to let you guys know. And again, we thank you for this opportunity. Um, you guys didn't have to do this, and we are grateful that you, you you thought that much about us to give us a chance to represent you and your families. This is a like I said, a render service that we get. We owe you guys every single day that we get up and. Um, that's the, <clears throat> that's the attitude that we're going to have um, because these, these positions, these titles don't belong to us. They belong to you. And um, we want to make sure that uh, we do the right thing every single day. All right, so I'm going to get out of here. Got a lot of running to do. Um, I'll see you guys later on. Got some issues to take care of tonight at the, at the, uh, at the hub. Um, then I'm going to stop in the morning um, and talk to um, – some drivers. I saw some. I talked to them some yesterday at uh, Southwest and Mount Airy, but we're going to talk to the Bala and Media guys. See what's going on because I know um, some issues going on over there. Um, we want to talk to you guys. Make sure you guys are being uh, that your 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 concerns are being addressed. All right. So we love you guys. Appreciate you guys more than you ever know. Love you, and I mean that. Love you, and see you soon. God bless. Don't forget, tune in um, every other every other Wednesday to six two three radio. It almost slipped out. I almost said to sleep. So that that would have been bad. But uh, thank you guys again. I talked to you, and don't forget, the more you participate, the more things happen. All right. So we love you. Thank you for all you guys have done, and let's let's keep this train moving. Let's keep this progress going. Let's keep this positivity happening, and let's keep fighting the company together because that's the only way we're going to win. All right? God bless. Don't forget, it's the members who put us here, and it's the members who we serve. All right? Talk to you guys. Bye-bye.